hello everybody welcome back and if you're new here please like subscribe and leave some comments down there about, about anything you've seen on the video today we're tackling my 2005 audi a6's daytime running light also known as my uh, neglected audi i've got the bi zine on so your bulbs may look different uh, you might just have a regular light bulb or if you look up in that left upper corner you'll see a little second mi mirror area there the little spot right here that would normally be your running light but the process is still the same you're going to want to disassemble your air box just to get to it normally when i would uh do a, a headlight of, of any bulbs on some cars i would go through the fender liner but this one i wouldn't have any room as you can see i already jumped ahead a little bit you remove this cover loosen up the clamp there on the intake loosen up this one just to separate this it's held in by two clips up top and some tabs down there at the bottom so you kind of kind of got to pull it away and lift up at the same time it's going to require both my hands so let me put you down for a second and I'll, I'll take care of that okay now that i got the upper part of the box out of the way you see i got it up here i didn't unplug it from the uh, mass airflow i don't want to mess anything up there as you can see it's still it's still in there but there's a clip up there up top holding it in it's got rubber grommets at the bottom that you can just pull out there's one there and one there but i gotta pull this clip out so let me see if my handy dandy clip tool helps me pull it out It is a two-piece unit, but it should come out with just that. All right. See? Okay, two pieces. All right. Again, it's going to require my hands, uh, both my hands. Now, it looks like I may have another hose. Sometimes some of these models have a little hose. You can see it looks like I got a vacuum here, up here. So when you pull it out, just be careful you don't yank it all the way out because you might pull on something that you might need. So I'm going to rip this box out and we'll be one step closer to the headlight housing. Okay, I got it all pulled away, and like I said, you see you got one hose here and another uh, breather hose there. We really don't need to remove all that stuff because we're just reaching into the headlight. There should be some, some tabs at the bottom end of it. It's kind of reversed on this side. The tabs will be up top on this side. You can see them right here this one they're going to be on the bottom so there's two of them you just flick up the two of them and the cover will come off so let me take care of this cover real quick and we'll get to it all right i've got the cover off like i said it sits like this and there you can see one of the tabs is already broken be careful with this that they all do that if you're if you're not right this one's been tampered with before so but if you look here on the right side there's the tab that you need to pull up on it and then it just hooks into the housing here and that's it for that cover now once you get past that you have access to your uh, sorry. you have access to all your lights here you've got the xenon bulb and the igniter here this little black unit here is the uh, the self leveling so you kind of want to carefully reach around that to remove the uh, this light bulb and it's like a quarter turn and you'll feel the you'll feel the unit in there you kind of got to go in there blind unless you remove all this stuff and stick your head in there but let me see if i can uh see i didn't even look i just reached in and grabbed it and there it is my badly blown headlight 
See if I can uh, try to do this stuff with one hand is a pain in the butt, guys. So let me uh let me get that bulb out and get it replaced real quick. Okay, as you can see, I've got the bulb out. It says it's an 1156, but when I looked it up online, it said it was a 7506. So let me throw this in and see if it works. I'm also going to try uh, something else while I'm in there, now that I can access the, the marker light. I've got these fancy bulbs that I've had for a long time from one of my other Audis. I don't know if it'll focus. You see how it's iridescent? Well, even though it's that color, it will light up uh, amber when you hit the blinkers and stuff. So let me see if those will fit also. So let me throw this bulb in there and we'll get back to it. All right, as you can see, I've got it all placed back in there. Um, it wasn't too bad. Like I'm, I'm doing it blindly and one-handed almost. Um, you just got to put it in and do the quarter turn in reverse and it just snaps right in. Now I'm going to go in the car and see if it still indicates that I'm... I've got a blown bulb if not then or if so then I have to uh, go get the bulb that came out of it which would be an 1156 but the book says 7506 so let's take a look at that well I just tried reaching into the corner light and it looks like I could get it through the fender liner but it's like way in the corner there I can probably get to it But I don't want to mess with it too much more. Um, I really don't need to swap them out. They still work. So let me put this back together. Make sure that my indicator lights are out. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. She's all put back together. I didn't want to start it up until uh, I had the intake on. You know, because if you don't, if you run it without the mass airflow, you'll trip an engine light. As far as these uh, fancy bulbs, I'll, uh, I'm going to have to make another video probably on... Uh, changing out those corner lights they sit really tucked in there I, I should be able to just reach in and grab them I don't know why uh, I was probably grabbing at the wrong spot I'm kind of in a hurry myself so let me start her up and see what the indication tells me did I fix my little uh, problem here all right let's see what it does for me Oh yeah, my little indicator is out. Like I said, that service light is just the uh, the oil change I have due. And my washer fluid. <laughs> I'm uh, turning on the MMI now. So I can... Uh, so if you'll see... I, I turned off the uh, running lights when that bulb went out. But you can turn them on seeing that the indicator has gone off let me see if they come on and see how it looks so let's see Okay, lights are on, everything looks good, so that's how you replace the uh, running light on that side. The other side isn't so rough, let me turn this off, she tends to be pretty loud. The other side isn't so bad. Um, you could just reach in from the back end here. You know, you undo one tab here. You do the other tab from behind, uh, remove the cover. But if you have, if you got bigger hands in mine or whatever, then uh, you can loosen up the uh, power steering reservoir here, a hydraulic fluid reservoir. That looks like maybe a 30 millimeter star bit. Just pull that aside a little bit and you'll have plenty of room to work on it. But that's it, folks. 
I appreciate you guys coming out to come see me. And again, if you're new here, if you want to see some more of my neglected Audi, you know, click subscribe, hit the like button, and leave some comments down there if you got ideas for this car. Like I said, I might want to do some exhaust stuff. I might want to lower it. Um, I want to hear what you guys want to see on this thing. I'm running out of little ideas to work on it. I'm, uh, I'm going to do some of the metal polishing, but that's self-explanatory. Um, if there's anything else, you have questions or, or ideas for this car, just hit it up on the, uh, in the comments. Thank you guys for your time. And be nice to each other. Please, be nice, be kind, share the love. Peace.